Yeah. Two farts are funny. Yeah. Thank you. Listen, the fart compatibility factor is so important. You can negotiate farting. I negotiated it with my husband. very mean. Whenever people meet me in public, they always say, wow, you're a lot taller than I expected. What should I be doing? Just say thank you. Want. You just say thank you. But like, what if I want people to, th like, you. should I walk around with a measuring tape or like, what do I? You know what you should say is, uh, that's too bad because short guys are really good in bed. But I'm not short. <laughs> they can make the assumption you're really good in short bed. Short guys are good in bed. They are. Yes. Yes. Why is that? Well, the, the smaller the man, the more effort made. Is that like factual? It's very true. It's very true. Like guys with small peens are amazing in bed. Small what? Because they put in the effort, right? Yeah. They're like, here's the thing. Really good looking guys are the worst. They're the worst to have sex with. Really? Yes. Because they count on it. They count on you being blinded by their looks. What? What's your impression of on how I am? I haven't tried you. Sorry? I haven't tried you. If without trying me. Here's the question. Are you conscientious? I don't know what that means. When you do something, do you want to make sure you do it right every time? Oh yeah. I'm super, I'm, I think I'm good in bed because I'm super self-conscious. Okay. If the girl that I'm sleeping with leaves that scenario not thinking like Derek's really good, I'm going to hate myself. Right. As you should. But. <laughs> But is that like a, a healthy way? Like, shouldn't I want the girl to feel good because I want her to feel good and not because of how, I, how it's going to make me feel? Okay, let me ask you this. When you have employment somewhere yep. and you do a good job at your job, are you doing it so that the company views you favorably? Yeah. Exactly. Long story short, I want to give off. Tall guy vibes. Um, okay. So. How do I do that? Mm, you'd have to be cocky. I think that's what it is, cocky. Okay. You're, you're confident, but it's a, it's a quiet confidence. Yeah. Like? Right, but it's, I mean, that's not better. I'm just saying. Like that? No, it's not better. Cocky is not better. Do you know how my, Like that? Do you know how my husband won me over? I want to know. By being confident. How did you stumble into him? How did I what? How did you stumble into him? I was a stripper for 20 years. Okay. Yeah. And he was my customer for two and a half. He saw me. He went something about that girl. So step one to find your man. Step one to find your man? Become is a stripper. Don't look for a man. Don't look for a man. Don't look for a man. I recently stumbled into somebody on the sky train pursued me and I was so excited because they were a little bit older. They were looking for something casual because I'm like a broken, I have so much baggage that they wouldn't even let me on the plane. Yeah. But then after a week of us chatting, she told me she was married. Okay. Now, I understand the dilemma. Yeah. I understand the dilemma. So what did you do? I cut it off. You did, okay. Yeah. Because I'm not trying to have some psycho man wanting to... Fucking on your door. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I already have trust issues. Like, really bad trust issues, so... <sighs> okay, but let's talk about you. <laughs> so, I have not read your books because I wanted to get... I didn't want to know your answers to these things. I want to hear what you have to say. Okay. Because I noticed you had a chapter in one of your books about texting. Yes. And I think a lot of viewers worry about stuff like, okay, they haven't texted me back in four hours. Right. Yeah. I really want to send that. Second so, text. and it's like, 
No. Here's the thing. Okay. Texting doesn't start with texting. Texting starts with meditation. Oh, that sounds so difficult. Oh, why do you say closing your eyes for 10 minutes and doing nothing is hard? Here's the thing. Okay. A lot of people tell themselves meditation is thinking nothing for 10 minutes. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Okay. It's bringing your thoughts back. And even if your thoughts are back for a fraction of a second, does a fraction of a dollar, when you add fractions, eventually lead up to a dollar? Yes. So the fractions count. You reduce your stress, fear, and anxiety and increase your self-esteem. You're not sending out that second text because you're anxious that they're not that into you. Yeah, okay. So if texting starts with meditation, meditation. what does sexting start with? Uh, pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and then videos. <laughs> I have a scenario that I want to bring up with you because you're a dating coach. I am. I was at a restaurant the other day and the server was like really into me. She was smiling a lot. She was laughing at all my jokes. She was asking if like I was okay. Mm -hmm. Then I asked for her number okay. and she said no. Right. She wasn't into you. She was into her tip. If you think somebody's I was hoping flirting. she was into my tip. No. no. Okay. So if you think someone's flirting with you, yeah. ask yourself, is there money involved? If there's money involved that may go her way, she might be earning her money. Uh, so if the server was actually into me, what do you think would have been the thing that I could look for? The touch? Touch. Touch is a big indicator. It, but if she touched me, the tip would have gone up by like 5%. Oh, probably. Yes, of course. Because, you know, boys are easy. I'm so, I give off such short guy energy. I can just feel it every time I talk now. So my thing is the no kissing for three months dating rule. I have heard of this rule. Because we're not trying to reel them in with sexuality. Because we're not looking for hookups. We're looking for people who see beyond the sex. Of course I'm gorgeous. Of course you want to hop on me for your 10 seconds. Okay, I know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. But do you like me? Yeah. That's what I need to find out. You know what? I've always had the problem of I just straight up cannot have sex with somebody I don't like. Okay. Like my dick just doesn't work if I don't okay. have some sort of. But that's like kind of annoying sometimes. I mean, if you're looking for casual stuff, then it can get in your way. Yeah. Yeah. So. But is that, is it wrong to want casual sex? No, because body count doesn't matter. Do you know why? Why? Who I did is it who I am. <sighs> Pretty simple. That's a tattoo. I. <laughs> that's a tramp, that's a tramp stamp. Yeah. I've always, I've never been to a strip club. What are you waiting for? I, I just don't get off on the idea of like paying somebody to. You don't have to. You just go watch the artistry of the women on the stage. Yeah, but I just feel icky. Watching women take their clothes off. With like other dudes there that have like pre-cum in their pants. Ew. Yeah. Well, why are you thinking about that? Because I wasn't. <laughs> so what if there's this girl that I like? We kind of have like a business relationship. Mm. And I think she's into me. Wait a second. What do you mean by business relationship? Like, we've filmed something before. Not, it's, it's, okay, no, okay, no, okay, no, okay, no. Okay. Do you want to continue having a business relationship? Yeah. What outweighs one more than the other? Is it better to have a business relationship or better to have a relationship with her? You're asking the, the hard questions here. It is a hard question because you don't want to poop on your dining room table. I really don't want to poop on my dining room table. Oh, it's, it's not good. But like, can I clean it up? Like I can poo on the dining room table. Sure, on the... but you, you don't have a business relationship with her anymore. Yeah. You have to clean up the mess. Yeah, 
And she has like a separate business that's like, I don't know if I'm comfortable with dating somebody in that world. Why? Because I'm self-conscious. What's her other business? Only fans. I thought so. Yeah. Yeah. But, okay. So you're uncomfortable with her making lots of money? <sighs> you're uncomfortable with sharing? Yeah. Do you know who else is uncomfortable with sharing? No. God. Toddlers. No, toddlers, yeah. Toddlers. Because you haven't right. formed the part of your brain that's okay with sharing until four plus years. Are you okay with sharing? Well. <laughs> what if I'm self-conscious about the size of my... Then what you need to do is watch women directed. Women directed? Yes, women like written and directed by women because they're gonna teach you what to do. Ah. Uh, but like, I'm not, wor learn. I'm not worried about my performance. I'm worried okay. about somebody seeing it and being like. <laughs> you, there's nothing you can do about that. No. No. You just have to be okay with it. Like, should I tell them beforehand? If, if it's weird. If it's like weird. Like, if, if it's like a mushroom, like a, like a big bulging head on a little stump. Yeah. yeah. Say, um, uh, I just want to prepare you. Maybe, maybe show her like a drawing first. You can, you can draw. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ease her into it. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. because you want her to be, to be like, he's amazing. Okay, yeah, the penis, but he's amazing. How do I initiate? I got somebody over. I want to start the. You know. Kissing. Yeah. Okay, that's not what that looks like. What is... Oh, well, it looked like you were going to swallow someone's face. Oh, okay. And you looked oddly excited by that. My thing is I always say, like, so, like, do you want to make out? Okay, so starting that sentence with so really takes it down in terms of sexiness. Okay. But if you said, can I kiss you? Uh, yeah, so you notice the sultry, like, like there was an intimacy factor to it. Yeah. Can I kiss you? So we're watching a movie. Ow. I'm already so nervous. It starts with holding hands. If you're unwilling to hold my hand, why would I move in for a kiss? So the first thing you would do is... I would reach out and I would, I would touch the hand. And if there's a reciprocation in the touch, so I touch and the touch comes back, uh, then we start doing some hand holding, some finger play, right? <laughs> the no kissing for three months dating role is because affection has been removed from the dating scene. We're going from I just met you to getting sexual. Can I tell you something I'm a little embarrassed by? Okay. One time I was seeing this girl that I really, really, really liked. We hadn't done anything. Yeah. And the first time we held hands, I got a boner. Of course you did. Of course, I, that's normal. You did, yeah, it's very cool, you know why? You know why you got a boner? Because you like her. Yeah. Yeah, boners are sometimes just emotionally created. It was an emotional boner. Yeah, it was an emotional boner. I was dating a guy who was a bodybuilder and he was like touching my back, but like mawing my back with his hands. I was like, I like a gentle touch. And he was like, okay, gentle touches. So before you get to the kiss, let's make sure we like the touches. My thing is, I feel like and I feel like this makes me sound like such an idiot. I don't want to have to tell somebody how I like things. That is stupid. Because how else will she I know. know? Like, here's, here's the thing. Have you been with people sexually before? Oh, yeah. And I fuck. Has, I fuck. Okay, so have you noticed that when you hit a different body, you got to start doing different things? Yes, yeah. Exactly. Like in my head, having to tell somebody what to do takes away the sexiness. Wrong. 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 Only if you do it in an unsexy way. Like, let's just say you're going down on me, right? Yeah. And I go, and I just smack your forehead off of me. Yeah. Like, I don't like that. That's not sexy. You don't want to go back down, do you? 
good. I think you would send me down like a six month spiral. Before we get to a kiss, I'm gonna say to you, hey, I just wanna let you know, I don't like wet and sloppy kisses. Like wet for me is a total ick. Is this like an actual thing you're saying? This is an actual thing I would say, yeah. So here we are in a kiss, right? I'm gonna break the kiss, but not the intimacy. Uh, I'm gonna break the kiss, but stay close. And I'm gonna go, come in, come in close. I'm gonna go, let me show you what I like. Oh, oh baby, did you see what he just did? I bet it moved. Let me show you what I like. Riddle me this. What if I really like moist, drenched. It's a good thing we had the conversation so that now we can go our separate ways because you and I are not compatible physically. Mm. And we found out by communicating. Yeah. I know, a boy wants to find out by putting it in. What if my partner's nether region mm. has like a stench? Right. But I don't know how to tell them that without like yeah so just don't stay there for that long because like you mean stay there as in like right go get out because the stench is where you are like you can you can tell because you're there like hopefully it's not wafting all over the room one time yeah i could so i was at a movie and i could in a movie in a movie theater because it's such a delicate thing to bring up don't bring it up when you're naked Bring it up outside of naked time and say, hey, I just want to say, I kind of notice that I think your pH is off. And I'm wondering if there's something maybe you need to address. Can you say that again? I, hey, I, I noticed that I think your pH is off. pH? Your pH. What does that mean? It means your chemical makeup. So something is imbalanced. Okay. She'll know what pH is. What about, what about for the dude who has a smelly? Yeah. So if you and I were like making out and we're about to have sexy time, I'd go, Derek, go wash your bollywoggles. And then what would you say? What are bollywoggles? I'd say your nuts, your, your nuts in your dick. Does it smell? Sometimes. And then what, what if that put me like, I don't even want to do it. No. Like, you just, you just can't perform. Like, whatever. Um, I'll have to get a new boyfriend. You have to get a new boyfriend? Yeah, because this one doesn't want to wash his nuts back so I can have a better experience. Yeah. So, what is more important to me? A good experience or somebody stroking my ego? Yeah. But, like, I really like when my ego gets stroked. Of course. Because I'm a... Boy. Man. Yeah, okay. We don't know if he's a man yet. Do you want to find out? Sure. Okay, it's 12 character traits. Okay. I'm going to test you. Do you need women to validate you by thinking you're handsome, or do you get your validation through your personal successes? <sighs> I mean, both, but if I had to pick one, it would be my personal successes. Okay, good start. Um, if you have a girlfriend, is she allowed to have male friends? Yeah, of okay. course. Um, as what? long as they don't see each other after 6 p.m. Okay, so no point for you. Do you want women or people basically to be attracted to you because you wear nice clothes and you, you are well put together? Or do you want people to be attracted to you because of your character, your personality? It's the first one. Oh, no point for you. Are you selfish? Are you a what's in it for me kind of person? Or are you generous with your people? Oh, I'm generous. Point for you. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. If you're not a 12 out of 12, it is a fail. Because we got standards. 11.5? Mm-mm. That means you got work to do. Okay. When should I give up on somebody? When they're not interested in you. What if they say they're interested in me? They tell me they love me, okay. but they don't show it. Then they don't love you and they're not interested in you. You think so? Yeah, because it doesn't matter what people say. What matters is what they do. That's why we use the no kissing for three months dating rule, because people can say anything. Yeah. 
but what are your choices of behaviors over time and not just initially? What about like the, it's, it's like showing nothing until it's about to end and then they come in with the doing. That means it was always nothing and the doing is a manipulation. Their patterns are important. Yeah. So if, if their pattern is initially doing lots and then doing nothing, that's the reality of the pattern is is that was a facade and this is the reality is the nothing so how do i let go of that well you have to get out of your imagination and ground yourself in reality your mantra is i don't want to be with somebody who doesn't want to be with me yeah but then like every time i end it off it's like after a week i convince myself that they do love me why because part of me thinks that that's, that means I love them. Um, so you love them, so they, sh they must love you? I don't know. So this is why people have trouble breaking up. Because yeah. they create a fantasy. They, I call it the castle in the sky. We can't break up because we haven't lived in the castle yet. I need to get to the castle. So I'll convince myself that we can get to the castle. Are there babies in the castle? No. I don't want, I don't want babies in the castle. I wanted to get some advice for the people that never get advice. So what if I did want to cheat on my girlfriend? Okay. What would be the best way to go about it? Cause like, I love my girlfriend and I don't want to get caught cause I don't want to hurt her feelings. Right. Do you have any advice on that? Um, well, you're going to hurt her feelings. I am. Yes. Do you know why? Why? And we'll always find out. You'll always find out. You will always find out. Yeah. But like, you know, I have the Tesla at home. But like sometimes I want to drive a Ferrari. So you should have tried the Ferrari before getting the Tesla. That's why body count doesn't matter. Who you did isn't who you are. So go try all the cars. Yeah and get it out of your system. And when you're ready to settle down, you choose the model you prefer. So right now you're saying maybe return the Tesla. Yeah. Go out. Because apparently you're not ready for a Tesla yet. You yeah. still want to go drive Ferraris. Yeah. So return the Tesla. Because the Tesla shouldn't be abused. No, I no. I love, I like love my well, Tesla. Well, love the Tesla enough to do the right thing for the Tesla. Because love is a verb. But part of me wants to have my Tesla and eat it too. Right, so the Tesla's gonna run you over when the Tesla finds out. <laughs>